Over here on the west side of the field, we have a standard saturated buffer. So we have one control structure. We have a 490 feet of tile line going laterally out both sides of that structure. We are on one continuous field here that we had to bisect the line and we ran a new outlet to both of these two control structures. And on the east side of the field right behind us, we're looking at the new pitch fork design where we have 520 feet three times. So we have three lines running out there, so a little over 1,500 feet of tile line. So we're treating more area on this newer design over here than we are back here on the original saturated buff design. Again, a side-by-side -side comparison, same field, same type of soils in this area. So we're looking at, under the same situations, how this one's gonna perform to our newer design. So in hopes that we're gonna push more water out, divert more water, and the cost of this is a little bit more to install. It was about $6,000 to install, where this one was only around $4,000. But on a per acre basis, this one's actually cheaper to install because it's treating 19 acres versus six acres over here. And then this outermost line, the farmer will actually farm across the top of it. And we have a gate valve in there that we can open and close. So we'll have water that we can shut off when the farmer needs to get in the field and access the field so we can drain that water off and then we we'll still send water to the other two lines. It's through plant uptake, just like a standard saturated buffer and also through denitrification. One other modification we made to this system, aside from the check valve and the design, is there's a one-way backflow valve in it. So once water enters the system, it can't come out. Ultimately, what we hope to learn is how this design compares to the standard design in different field situations. And we want to uh, thank all the partners for this. We worked with the uh, Land Improvement Contractors Association that got all these people organized out here to put the, the tile in. The Illinois Farm Bureau helped us you know, get in contact with the farmer. And then NREC, this is one of four projects we have funded with them, so um, again, they have been critical in, the, in helping us address these water quality issues and uh, supplied funding for these four projects. And with this partnership, we plan on moving forward and putting in a saturated buffer at, at uh, four new sites over the next four years. Mm -hmm.